Okay. <laughs> um, second time. Take two. I <laughs> um, want to talk today about Christians um, being persecuted in the last days about what Jesus said. Matthew 24, uh, 9. He says, uh, Then will... Uh, shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake uh, we are apparently there the headlines today says there's a probe in college slangs peers into web rants and possible religious rage duh you know something we should have had religious rage 50 years ago when they took prayer out of school what happened to the religious rage then you know what I mean I mean that's when the devil was beginning to tear at our threads this this is where it has ended up uh, where we have bro close this window baby will you please um, where we have brought ourselves to uh, a play we have allowed ourselves to be brought to a place where uh, we are so easily beset like the Apostle Paul uh, talked about. This is what some of the stuff says. Uh, the gunman who cut a deadly path through a college campus appears. He didn't cut a path. He went into two different um, uh, room to, uh, school rooms there and he uh, shot some kids and one girl went down to check out who uh, where the noise was coming from and she was shot also um, twice <clears throat> um, so of course there uh, Rosenberg Oregon is where this happened um, so they're hyping it up and they're, they're probably going to try to come against Christians in this the media will try to make it sound like it's uh, Christians fault no doubt okay um, okay, on the college campus, appeared armed for an extended siege. A report said Friday as investigations probed deeper into uh, suspicions the shooter may have been driven by religious rage and a uh, fascination with the twisted uh, notoriety of, of high-profile killers. Uh, see, they made it sound like it was a Christian that did it. No way this guy was a Christian. Okay. He was probably a, uh, I don't know, some kind of a religious nut, but no way he was a Christian. And, uh, you know, the, the liberal media are good at that. This is the Washington Post I'm reading in here, by the way. Uh, who is it? Who are, they have uh, uh, conservative reporters there, but they are mostly... Um, um, they are mostly liberal. The Washington Post is a very liberal newspaper. <clears throat> okay, and we are in that place where the Lord talked about you shall be hated of all nations. The Lord said this is a time of the beginnings of sorrows. I think we're a little, a little past that time. Things are heating up. This is the war that William Branham talked about as far as um, um, this nation will be torn and, and set on fire and a, a war here you know this is it this is the second time in the past month that things like this has happened that Christians have been attacked and shot and this is because our liberal ran uh, schools have taught us uh, have taught our children that there is no God they have taught our in our schools that our uh, um, uh, our country has never been about Christianity. That's what they teach there. I've talked to kids that, that has argued with me straight up and down. They're straight out of high school arguing with me up and down. I says, listen. I says, they've given you some fictitious school books. I said, this country has been. The, the uh, Thanksgiving Day that we have um, celebrated ever since this country has been formed. It's a Christian Oriental deal. It's a Christian oriented deal. It was that was made to give peace to the end. Thanks, thanks to God for what we have, the bounty that we have, uh, which is um, uh, held over from a Jewish tradition, uh, the the feast of um, 
uh, their harvest feast that, that they give. <coughs> First fruits. Okay, it's a exact. It's a correlation with that. So this is a this is a God given thing. And for those folks of you who don't know that um, the Jewish God is our God, He, he is same God. Um, Jesus was Jew, okay, and we are adopted into this Jewish family, okay, so it's the same God. We should, actually, we need to keep on celebrating those Jewish feasts. They mean something thing about Christ. They mean something about Christ, okay, but we're in the, we're in the last days and we have, we've been duped. The Bible talks about, you know, we've been getting so far away from God. Our politicians don't, uh, uh hold up godly standards in our country. Our uh, schools don't teach uh, uh, godly uh, attributes in our schools anymore. They do just the opposite. As a matter of fact, our, our uh, political correct statement of today is that any religion is okay. No, our, our constitution is only about Christian religion. It does not give the right for somebody to come in and set up a religion that sacrifices their children on an altar. It does not give somebody a right to come in and set up uh, base camps that practice killing Christians in our country. It doesn't do that under the name of religion. How stupid are you people? Come on folks, wake up. You gotta have some kind of smarter politicians in this country than that. Just because you want to get your political way, so you can have that sect of people you want to hold for stuff like that, thinking it's not going to happen in your lifetime, it's happening. It's happening in your lifetime, and it's almost too late to do anything about it. Yeah, there is three, uh, 200 million uh, Christians in this country that say they believe in God. Plus, it's over 200 million. And but listen, if we don't stand up and start doing stuff, it doesn't matter how many you are. It could be a total of 300 million plus, and then there's 15 million that want to take us down this bad road. If we don't stand up and say something, nothing is ever going. You will be drugged down that road, kicking and screaming. And if that's all you ever want to do about things, <clears throat> listen, we have to hold our government accountable for what they are doing. Hillary, God is holding Hillary accountable. Trey Gowdy, under the under the anointing of God, is going to cause that woman to be put where she needs to be and put where all other politicians need to be. And and, and we as a as a people need to stand behind these folks. We don't even care about who we're voting for. Listen, vote for people that have a godly compassion. That's who we are. That's who we are. And the Lord talked about, let's, let's go over here and read some of this. Because I don't want you to think I'm just getting off on ramping, uh, raging about um, uh, political things. That's, that's not really what I'm doing. I want to serve my country as a, as a, a prophet and a priest uh, who, God has, who God has made me. And this is the setting, okay? <clears throat> and as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall the sign of thy coming be the, of the end of the world? And this is what he began to say. And that's why he said down there, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Then shall many be offended. Yeah. That's what the news headlines said today. And many were offended. Christian raised. Well, we should have been raised back when uh, Madeline Marie O'Hare took uh, 50 years ago when she took prayer out of school. That's when we, or we needed to be raised. You know what? It doesn't, after the fact, is kind of a late place to put your rage. Wouldn't you think? All right. Uh, but, but we can see how these things are coming to pass and how that we are living in the last days. Amen. And how these things are happening all around us. And there's only one hope for this country. If God sends a preacher who would turn the heart of America again. Pray that God will. Pray that he will turn the hearts of the people back to God again. As it, as it happened in the day of Elijah. God sent word with Elijah again. Amen. To turn the people's hearts back. The, the 
the last the last book in the Old Testament, the book of Malachi, says God will that this preacher will turn the hearts of the children to the fathers and the fathers to the children, lest God would come and smite the earth with a curse. You think a curse can't happen to the United States? You are badly mistaken. The United States has a lot of ugly stuff on its plate, and now it has came up before God, and America needs to start turning back to God again, or just some real ugly stuff going to happen. All right? We have the advantage. We have the advantage if we would just use it. We have the time if we would just use it for His sake and for His glory. Things could turn out good in this if we if we decide to turn our hearts to the God that made us. All right. God bless. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Another great message right here across in the middle of ministry.